Well, I'm so excited because it's one of my favorite nights of the week, Tuesday night, when all the nomads get together and we have nomad lifestyle. And another reason why I'm really excited is tonight we have Tracy Miller, who is this unbelievable artist. And she actually travels around sometimes as a nomad and takes her art supplies with her. So we're going to find all, all about that. But a couple things here before we get started. Uh, we're here every Tuesday night at five o'clock Pacific if you're watching it for the first time. And it goes live on YouTube now and also over on the Facebook Nomad page. And because it's a new page that we just started, we're just starting to gather up women and men that travel and like to live the nomad lifestyle or maybe do it part time, maybe occasionally, you know, occasionally. So it doesn't really matter. Just come join us every Tuesday. We have great questions this week. I came up with, um, uh, I mean, I found, I asked people to find stuff, but I found a couple of interesting things out there, which uh, we will, we'll look at here. Um, one is, um, the post of the week. The post was, uh, the question was, you know, about Walmarts and stuff, but, but the answer, when we get into the program here tonight, the answer, one of the answers is the one that really got me laughing. So stay tuned for that. And then we'll have a little Q and a about one of the things that a lot of people are asking about lately is, should I get a class C? Should I get a class A, B, van, minivan? So we're going to address some of the stuff that why you would buy a certain type of vehicle and some of the people that'll be showing up can tell us why they, you know, pick those particular rigs. Last week, as you know, we had uh, Cindy in and she told us that she had a class B and a Prius. So she goes out depending on where she's going out with what rig she has. So I'm really excited to welcome a lady that is really, truly renowned. She does amazing things. And when I met her, she was totally um, into marketing her stuff. Like most artists do not, uh, you know, they want to be in the studio just painting all the time. Tracy has mastered marketing. And what that means to her is she is everywhere. She has some amazing, amazing art. Well, I'll show you a couple pieces of it, but let's, let's talk about Tracy and her, well, let's call it her uh, nomad ways. So we're going to Tracy and see see what uh, we can find out from her. How you doing, Tracy? I'm great. How are you, Patty? I am just awesome. And I'm, I've got people waiting to come in and ask you questions too. So okay. save your questions for Tracy, because if you want to know anything about marketing, that's the lady. <laughs> and if you want to know anything about art, go over to uh, Tracy Miller uh, Fine Art on Facebook. Boy, you're, you're breaking out on all different types of things in your art right now, aren't you? Like I saw that... Uh, You've got the ghost. What is it? The ghost. They're called uh, the ghost animal series. And oh, I yeah. started them about three years ago. Um, in addition to the pop art animals that most people know me for. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah. show a couple pictures of those too, but let's yeah. get into your uh, dimples. I mean, I just thought, first of all, that was such a cute name. Can you tell us why <laughs> you named it dimples? Well, we, we named it dimples because, um, you know, we lived in Colorado when we uh, picked her up and she already had like a massive amount of hail damage um, on the top and the sides. And I had just uh, the, the, a few months before, maybe the year before I had joined the Sisters on the Fly group and all the Sisters on the Fly, you're assigned a, a membership number, but uh, you're, ver you're very much encouraged to give your trailer a name. And uh, I, I just said, you know, I got to call it dimples because it just has these little dimples, almost like a golf ball. There's so many, you know, when you throw really? like dimples are on a golf ball. So that's her name. And she actually has a sign above the door that says, oh, that's so cute. yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, how, that's how we got dimples from the hail damage. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So your husband, Roger, if you look at some of these pictures, folks, uh, they, uh, he, I mean, he, he gutted the whole thing. Is that right? Yes. So originally brought it home and, um, you know, it was actually kind of cute as you can see from the photos here, you yeah, know, yeah. Had a nice little, uh, color, uh, pattern to it and some nice uh -huh. little and things. And, um, I went to work and got a phone call from him like towards the end of the day. And he said he was just going to check out this back corner. Cause he didn't, um, didn't think that, you know, he saw some black stuff, mold, whatever, oh. and he started to pull the corner open and discovered that there was really kind of a massive amount of mold. Oh, under wow. So he says, well, I have 
bad news. I'm going to have to tear the whole thing apart. And I'm like, oh, because oh, here I was thinking, oh, I'm going to go camping in it, you know, in a week. Yeah. <laughs> and so what, you know, turned into basically a one year project because we were both working full time. So we just worked on it evenings and weekends. Uh-huh. Well, that looks, that kitchen is adorable there. And I love, I love the, the backdrop. Is that like a tin kind of a, a copper backdrop or something? Yes. Yeah, so it looks like it's real metal, but believe it or not, that that's a faux uh, tin ceiling, kind of pretty coppery bronze. And it's, it's plastic, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, creative with this stuff. Yeah, that's really <laughs> cute. And then you've got the uh, one thing I, I liked about, um, this this after picture i love the, the 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 material you put on those seats yeah that, mean, that is that is adorable so you know i love cowhide uh but of course you don't want to sit on it uh for yeah long periods because it, it'll like really like it's very itchy right um yeah. so i went online and i found uh this incredible like beautifully soft uh faux cowhide um at fabricmill.com. So if anybody is oh, looking cool. to, you know, do some reupholstery, I got, I even got the curtain fabric. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah. So uh -huh. I, I highly recommend them that you get okay. the tiles. It's great. And, and then what was this little red uh, uh, couch thing? Is that when you first walk in the door, this, this, this red? That, yeah. Uh, so believe, so believe it or not, that is actually the bed and, and I have it oh. done on the couch. Um, and I made all of those, I made almost all of those pillows myself. I bought a couple wow. of them here and there, um, so that you can just sit there as a couch during the day, but at night, um, you know, you can actually pull it out. So it comes a little closer to the, the countertop, but I don't cause it's, you know, it's such a small trailer. There's not yeah. a lot of space to walk yeah. out. So yeah, well, you did a great job. And um, let me ask you, so what, when, uh, when's your next trip? When are you going to go out again? Well, I'm, I'm going to finally go camping after a little over a year because of the move from Colorado to Minnesota. I'm going on July 8th and 9th and I'm going with the group I belong to, which is sisters on the fly. And nice. sisters is having um, kind of a boondock dry camp situation at her ranch. And oh, it's about, yeah. oh, I think about an hour, hour and a half, uh, southwest of, of where I live here. So, uh -huh. well, that sounds amazing. Uh, that is really, we got some comments coming through here. Great. Uh, mm -hmm. I love what a cute name. That's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, 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 it just, it matches it perfect in my mind. So that, that's really, really nice. So, uh, let me bring in some people. They might have some questions for you here. Uh, okay. and, um, uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see what, um, what we can do uh, as far as uh, time wise, because we I knew I was gonna uh, I knew I was gonna run out of time with you, you know. Let's see what we got here. And there's oh Paula's with her party hat on. Wow. <laughs> wow. How you doing, Paula? I'm Hi, good. Paula. How are you? Good, good. And let's see we got um Sa Sassy Iowa. Hi, how are you? Hi Sassy in Iowa. <laughs> yeah. And Cheryl looks like she's coming in from Washington. How you doing, Cheryl? Good. How are you guys? Hi, Cheryl. Do you have any questions for um, Tracy? Anybody? I do. Tracy, how um, big is your trailer? Uh, so it's considered a 14 foot, but that that's, you know, the, from the tongue to the, to the back. So interior size, it's about eight feet wide and it's about 12 feet long. So it's, it's wow. really kind of a canned ham size, you know, yes. <laughs> but not very big. <laughs> now, did you put all the uh, plumbing and everything in it too? Yeah. My husband, Roger did. Um, I mean, he's, he's the guy with the skill set. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. When he tore it apart, he tore, he tore it apart very carefully and kept everything as a pattern. And then um, because it was a 1967, um, he up, he put all new plumbing in there and then he did a, an inverter so I can run off, um, I think, what do they call it? Either the 20 or 30 and 50, um, 30, 30, 50 amp. Yeah. yeah. I can run it off those two different amps. Nice. And, um, and so there's all new electric and, wow. uh, and everything. And I, I just, uh, I just love it. And all my lights work, of course. And I still have the old fashioned, uh, propane lamp. Oh, uh, oh, that's oh cool. my gosh. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. 
have that in there too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's all. Does it have a toilet? I didn't see a toilet. Uh, it has a porta potty. So oh, there's a little closet across from the bed and that I, you know, I'll, I'll hang some, I kind of use it as storage when I'm driving. And then once I get to where I'm going, uh, I get some of that stuff out. I do staging, you know, I don't know oh, if you nice. stage when you go. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then I've got my porta potty in there too. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Any other questions for Tracy here? I've got a, I wanted to show you if, if you don't, I just wanted to show you her, her page. Tracy is really well known for her incredible, uh, brilliant colored art and animals, right? right? Yep. It's all wildlife yep. or domestic animals or pets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. And now you have so, uh, moved to, you've been to, you've moved to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And so you've got a studio there now. Mm -hmm. And uh, how's that like living in Minnesota? Oh, it's, uh, well, it was a very long winter this year. <laughs> so <once laughs> snow gets on the ground, like in December, it, it didn't go away till April. I mean, we were just like looking at white. <laughs> and uh, we didn't have the lakes melt this year until, gosh, I want to say it might have been late April before we started to see some open water. So we really had a very cold winter this year. The summer, however, is really beautiful. I mean, right now, I've already been out kayaking several times. Um, wow. We've been out on the boat. Uh, you know, you, you can get in your boat and go to restaurants on the lake, <laughs> which mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. you, you sort of feel like, oh, I'm, I'm on permanent vacation living this lake life thing up here. It's yeah. Cool. Oh, man. I, that, I know I've seen the pictures of it. That's really beautiful. I can't wait to take a road trip that way. I Hopefully can't move can't can't in the right <laughs> weather. <laughs> yeah, come up. Well, spring to fall <laughs> i knew that we could probably do the whole 30 minutes on you because you got so many interesting things but uh and, and i appreciate you coming in i hope you have some fun with this year because our next segment uh tracy is the post of the week and uh this week uh, a gentleman asked about what's the deal with walmarts because you know it used to be well known that you could just spend the night at walmarts but so many people are going in now and uh finding out they will not allow it because it's on uh, city ordinance property or whatever. So um, does anybody have any experience with Walmart before I read one of the answers? <laughs> I, I've, my last trip out, I stayed at a Walmart. Oh, did you? And, and how was it? It was good. It was really good. Um, they had signs up that said over no overnight parking, but I uh -huh. went in and asked and they said, sure, you can stay. And they told me where to park. And Isn't that so interesting? Did, because that's yeah, that's what one of the, uh, the uh, answers yeah. was. Like, go go in and ask, you know. Yep. Well, here's the here's th this one got a multitude of answers, but I was just perusing through some of the answers, and uh, uh, we we actually showed the lady's name on the post of the week last week, but this this one's kind of a bit snarky, so I'll just say that her answer was just curious. Why don't you spend thirty five to forty dollars to a usually private owner owned safe campsite with facilities and a good night's sleep. This always makes me wonder, you know, and I just thought, oh, wait a minute, you know, maybe not everybody has 35 to $40. And besides that campsite, where can you find a $35 campsite nowadays? Does anybody agree with me on that? Aren't they mostly like yeah. 50 and 60? If it's yeah. just for yeah. one night, yes. Exactly. Yeah. And you do that 30 nights a month, and yeah, mm -hmm. that's above most people's budget. Yeah. That's, if I, I thought had that, that kind of money, I'd be doing world cruises. Yeah, <laughs> you know? <I> know. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, uh, uh, Sassy and I? <laughs> oh, see, she's not hearing us because we can't hear her. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, yeah. that's my fault. I had the mic off for oh, some reason. Go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. How's um, your Walmart experience? Uh, it's been good. I just look for the ones um, that usually don't have the sign, and I just park kind of out, um, out of the way, and I haven't had any problems, and we've got a good night's sleep. And, you know, we're usually traveling, and I don't really see to a destination or something so we drive so much it's like i don't really want to spend 30 dollars for something that i'm just going to wake up and go the next day yeah. i'm not going to enjoy 
the campsite. It's just going to be exactly get there, go to sleep, get up, go. And, you know, yep. so I, yeah, I, I do den Walmarts and Cracker Barrel and stuff like that. Yeah. Most people say that, that most of the answers were like that. Like I like to roam around all day and then, you know, I, I don't want to stay at campsite all day. And if you want, if you're going to a campsite where you want to stay there and there's a lot to offer, mm-hmm. that's different. But if you're just going traveling during the day, I just go sleep mm-hmm. somewhere at Walmart. Uh, but they are getting tougher. Don't, wouldn't you guys agree that they're, mm-hmm. Walmart's getting a little yeah. bit tougher to stay there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah more, more and more signs. I think they're city. Well, ordinance, Denver, but- Denver, Colorado, the whole city is completely um, no overnight parking. How well so, you I mean, know. we could not find anything in Denver. You had to go outside of Denver when I went there, yeah. you know, and it was still tough to find parking because there was just so many people yep. on the road out there. Yep. Well, I went out to the commerce, which is Aurora to the truck stop mm-hmm. when I was there and uh, it had one oh, hour parking and the whole row, road coming into the truck stop yes. was, was people yep. parked out there. Now, I don't know if they give ticket them or not, mm-hmm. but there was, Probably a good mile of uh, people yeah. lined up out there. It was it was the it same was, way when I was there. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, awesome. Have you ever you you don't take your you wouldn't take your dimples to a Walmart, would you, Tracy? <laughs> Probably not. Um, yeah. in, in the Sisters on the Fly group, there is yeah. a subgroup called Sisters on the Curb, and if you are traveling um, and you're part of Sisters on the Curb, you can kind of let people know ahead of time. Hey, I'm coming. I'm going to come through this town. Oh. Um, you have accommodation for me to bring my trailer and park it in front of your home. Mm-hmm. Or are you on, even on some land, you know, where I can just, mm-hmm. come and, you know, and, and so that's one way the sisters help each other deal with this problem of, of traveling cross. That country. is really neat. Yeah. That's really that's neat. neat. And then I found out about another program uh, through some other friends of ours, and it's called Harvest Host. I don't know yeah, if yeah. you've heard of it. Yeah, we've talked but, about that. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. And it, you have to pay like, I think, $70 a year to belong to Harvest Host. Um, but some, uh, some of the places, are it's totally free to stay there. They just want to expose their business to you mm-hmm. uh, and hope that maybe you might uh, buy something that they're selling. You know, Right, so, yeah. And you have to be self-contained at Harvest Host, though, don't you? Yeah, I think that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. That's one thing I never really paid too much attention to them because I'm in a minivan, of course. So, yeah, you know, but uh, good. All right. So that was our Walmart quote of the week, post of the week. And uh, I I thought it was kind of, you know, assumptive really to say that somebody, you know, why don't you just go pay? You know, it's like, well, hello. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) I can't, Um, I can't afford the gas and a motel or a, you know a spot yeah. to park that's right so yeah. it's like yeah 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 one or the other or whatever yeah mm-hmm. all right so we're going to move on to our topic of the week uh, now which is um this is coming up a lot i see more and more posts that, that people are really grasping this whole well it's summer for one you know it's summer so people are going on the road but all right so we've got uh class a Class B, a lot of uh, class C, a lot of people don't know that a B is actually a van, but with a RV unit on it. Uh, that's what's considered a class B. Then you've got vans, cargo vans, and minivans. So uh, let's let's go around. Let's see. We, we know Tra- uh, Tracy's got a dimples. We know I have a minivan. I, we know Paula has a minivan. We know Cheryl has uh, a Chevy. Uh, that would be a that's not a, that's a cargo van or what it's is considered that? considered a full size van. Oh, a yeah, passenger, passenger, passenger van. Van. passenger van. Yeah. yeah you're refer- seats out. So it's no longer a passenger. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're it's refurbishing a passenger van. van. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what do you yeah. have, uh, Sassy? Uh, mi- minivan. A minivan. Okay. So minivan. we got three yeah. minivans trailer. Mm-hmm. All right. Can anybody, since this is our topic and there's people that listen to this kind of stuff, uh, and ask me about it throughout the week. Can anybody give a good reason why you would want to have a class A? Any good reasons? <laughs> you know, if I was traveling um, with a spouse or large animals or something, a class A might mm-hmm. be kind of nice. Mm-hmm. But you'd have to want to stay in an RV park all the time. That's what I was going to say, yeah. You can't just pull up on a curb somewhere and mm-hmm. sleep. So no. it's definitely a different type of travel. It is. It's a, it's a, it's traveling class A, I would say, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but 
because you see a lot of them just on the side of the road. But I'd say the class A lifestyle is you got to have some money because you've got to have campsites. Seven miles to a gallon. Don't forget that. Yeah. Uh, oh, just know, the cost of tires alone is just tires you know, cost more than my van, I think. Converters, <laughs> electrical, solar, the yeah. propane, all kinds all of stuff. stuff. I found that uh, when I was selling uh, RVs that the Class A was at that time very popular. It was 20 years ago. That's That was going RVing was in a Class A. So you had people that did not know that there was so many systems to a, to an RV. You know, you're talking a house on wheels. Mm -hmm. Every Bar everything. A house, you got plumbing and heating and, you know, cooking. So you want to go out that and, and you want to glamp, you know, or go camping, I would say class A. Would you guys agree with that? Yes. Okay. What about a, a class C? Does everybody know the difference what a class C is? Mm -hmm. Everybody? Okay. So for those watching later or maybe trying to decide, a class C is that RV that you see that's got the, uh, on, uh, it's got the uh, bed over the top, you might say. And cab can, over, yeah. The cab over. There you go. Uh -huh. And it can be either a bed or an entertainment center up there or storage, but it does have like a cab over, like Cheryl said. Any advantages to buying that that you guys can think of that would send a person that's looking out to look at that? Well, they tend to be a little bit smaller. They tend to be a lower price point, mm -hmm. you know, more of a budget type of thing. But still, you've got all of the all of the systems. In. All the systems, yep. And then you've got uh, the ability to drive uh, like a car. I know when I, I've had both, the Class A, you're up there like, boom, you know, on your bad mama jamma driving a big 35 foot down the road. You're driving a house down the road. Uh -huh. Then in the Class C, you're uh, driving like a car. But that has its own issues, too, because, you know, you drive like a car and, oops, <laughs> I didn't realize the wheelbase was a little bit longer than the right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, all right. So any other thing on a class C, why someone would want to buy that or not buy it that you could think of? I think that you can get into a lot more areas with a class C than you could um, with the big, like you say, mama jama. Um, but it's still going to limit you somewhat Mm -hmm. is to if you really want to get onto some back roads and do some exploring oh yeah you've got to be really careful with where you go with it mm -hmm. yep that's really true but you got that comfort you know maybe a possible bed or something you know standalone bed now on the class b uh these have become real popular lately uh, i mean probably one of the most popular uh because the uh the uh, car manufacturers, the truck manufacturers, knew that this is a big industry and they started making a bigger chassis to hold the weight. Therefore, you got a lot of people weighing out those things like Class A, Class C. Oh, let's go to a B. Can anybody give me a, a good or bad reason why to buy a Class B? <laughs> I could give one. I've never had one. I've oh. never had one. Um, I got a chance to go in and look at a road trek, and they're nice. They're really yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, well you, you get, your get your checkbook out checkbook. again. If you're going to get a, a Class B, you've got to get your checkbook out. It's not a car. It's got all yep. the systems like a C and an A. Uh, some of them don't have generators, but now with the new craze on power generate uh, power stations that might not be as important but that was one of the things in the past that weight of a big generator was just hard to do in a in a class uh, a class b uh so price maneuverability is good you can stand up that's a big thing if most people i know our minivan squad you know we we'd like to be able to stand up <laughs> so a class b is good you're going to be standing, Cheryl's going to be standing up pretty soon too, aren't you, Cheryl? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, she's getting a roof put on her van. Nice. How many, how many inches? 20 inch. 20 inch. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, that's great. So it's not super tall. It's almost two feet taller. 
Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's the difference between, you know. Yeah. Well, next would be that. Go ahead. My husband won't be able to stand up in it, but I will be able yeah, to. Yeah, that's but cool. But he seldom goes in it anyway. Uh-huh. That's awesome. All right, so last would be the cargo van and the minivan. And I will just tell you, I, I happened to pull up to my old, uh, not my own, but one that was like mine, my old um, Nissan small cargo van, uh, the NV200, that is looking a lot like the um, the Ford Transit, the little one. A lot of people are buying those little ones. And so I pulled up next to it at the bank, and I noticed that my minivan is actually longer. And uh, I was thinking, you know, I really, I really used to like that that little van it was a uh, one that was uh totaled in a hailstorm similar to almost dimples there <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know almost got totaled but um yeah so i'm really happy that i ended up with the uh with the um the uh, minivan and that's that would be the uh next thing that uh we'll just kind of discuss and then we'll go on to uh the last couple things here we are running out of time Every week, every week. Um, so, uh, Paula, do you have any pros and cons on cargo or mini or what people should get if they're listening? Um, the only experience I have is with the minivan, and I absolutely love it. Do you? I love it. Um, I'm one that likes to get out and really explore. Mm -hmm. So I like the ability of being able to get back into some tight spots and um you know take some dirt roads and, and i really I like really it in the minivan mm -hmm. nice well i think that's probably what most people said is uh with the minivan you can you know like i was just thinking when i was pulled up next to that van yesterday at the bank it was like i can go pretty much unnoticed my big thing is stealth as everybody knows and so i like to stealth and i i can just go unnoticed with the minivan now with so many out on the road remember i was out there oh in 2011 when there wasn't that nissan i had was the first one out of the nissan not the very first one but the first round of vans coming out so there wasn't i remember hearing people outside going what is that <laughs> i could hear people say you know they didn't know what it was now everybody knows what a van is and stuff like that. Yeah. so i think with the mini i'm i'm stuck i'm sold on a mini for a while we'll see how this next road trip goes you know i'm going out for two months and we'll see that'll be my longest one in this van we'll see how it goes but anyway, you know, so is I, there any, go ahead. If I had someone traveling with me, then mm -hmm. I might think differently. But for just one person, you know, I, I'm perfectly comfortable. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, good. Well, I think we, we gave a lot of information there. Well, as usual, we've ran out of time. Tracy, so much. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. I know you're a busy lady out there. You got your own studio now. And Bra Bra Brainerd, right? Brainerd. Yeah. Yeah, if you're ever passing through, be sure and go see her, her, uh, her, her studio. I'm gorgeous stuff, just absolutely gorgeous. Thank and, you. And yeah. Tracy's at the uh, point where she gets commissioned now, so you know that that's that's a pretty high standard to meet when you get you people commissioned with your work. I even commissioned her to do a, a painting for my sister's dog. That's right. And it's, <laughs> it, it probably sits in my sister's house. But anyway, for those of you that uh, don't have anything else to do on Tuesdays, we're here every Tuesday at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I know that's eight out on the East Coast. What's it, seven at your time out there, Tracy? In the uh, mid, or, yes, or seven seven after seven o'clock. Seven seven yep. And, and uh, so we'll be sure and join us. Uh, now, because this goes up live on YouTube, it actually stays over there now. And so if you want to just go listen to it later, you can go over to YouTube and it's the Nomad Lifestyle page. And it's a new page that I've started. I'll put the link up. And the other thing I wanted to mention to everybody, I am seconds, seconds away from launching our merch page. Uh, it has been so much fun, so many weeks in the making, but um, it's I've got maybe two or three more items to put up. And I'll have the palm tree page, the uh, nomad page, and the boogie board page. Uh, all of them very big parts of my life. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I will put that link up. And some of the stuff, some of the proceeds go to a couple good causes. So that, that'll be fun too. But that little pink, uh, that little pink truck up there, that little van up there you see is the logo that's going to go on the pink hats. All of us that want to have fun, we're wearing pink hats 
just mm -hmm. to designate we are here to have fun go camping so mm -hmm. we'll see you all next week and uh stick around if you like don't go away we're going to see and talk to you on the next episode and